hip hop, hip hop, and hip hop. These are called the three natures of hip hop. These three natures of hip hop break down your organized approach to hip hop as a, as a force. Let me stop here and just explain this. Here, you notice we have a word hip hop spelled as one word. H-I-P, H-O-P, one word. It looks like high pop. But this is hip hop. This hip hop is consciousness. This hip hop is consciousness. This is where hip hop begins. Real hip hop is not in the physical world. Take a moment on that. Real hip hop, hip hop in its real sense, is not in three dimensional space or time. Hip hop for real is not here. You can't go to hip hop. You can't eat it. You can't wear it. Hip hop does not exist in the physical world. That's why those who try to seek hip hop through physical things fail every time. 30 years on that lesson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but no one seems to get it. Some things are physical, and you deal with them physically. Hip hop is not physical. It can't be dealt with physically. It, you don't deal with hip hop with your hands. You deal with hip hop with your mind. Hip hop is a mental experience. It is a cultural agreement. It doesn't exist nowhere. So we begin hip hop as consciousness. We are thinking this reality. But it's nowhere in the physical world. It's no, it's not here. Which makes you ask another question for another lecture. Then where is hip hop? And when you say, I am hip hop, where do you go? Okay. So hip hop, consciousness. Hip hop, the consciousness, it's called a collective consciousness. It's the way we all think. All of us. Not one of us. All of us. The way everybody in hip hop thinks. Every person that is aligned with this culture in some way. Your thinking creates hip hop. Collective consciousness. This hip hop, spelled H-I-P-H-O-P, -H and notice the, the space in between capital H, capital uh, capital H is lowercase IP, lowercase OP. This is the culture of hip hop. This is consciousness. This is how we spell the culture. You never spell your culture in lowercase letters. It goes against grammatic rules. If you're going to spell Scotland, it's a capital S on that. China, capital C, uh, C on that. Uh, you know, any country, any culture, uh, any city, um, they all get capital letters. So if you recognize hip hop as an international culture, you spell it with capital H's. <coughs> I notice also that many of the journalists, uh, even today, who, who have, you know, have went to college for this, they're told in college, journalists, writers, that Proper nouns, which is what hip hop is. Hip hop is a proper noun. It's a specific thing. It gets capitalized. But when you look in the dictionaries of today, hip hop is in lowercase letters. Yet its definition, they call it a culture. But it's in, spelled in lowercase. Others in magazines, and you see it online as well, when they're saying, and hip hop, and this might be good for hip hop or bad for hip hop, they spell it like this in lowercase. If you're talking about the culture of hip hop, if you're talking about the community of hip hop, you're spelling it with capital H. It's a proper noun. Right. Oh, the new world, you need to go get that shit right now. Let's go. I will be back.
ass right back when I'm off of the tour. The tour is raw cause duty is cold for the raw. Keep that shit high.